It's time now to go Inside Innovation, brought to you by DMI, mobilizing enterprises for the connected world. Well, Elevate Nexus is a new program just launched uh, this week by Indiana venture capital firm Elevate Ventures with a goal of engaging entrepreneurs and also higher education institutions around the state to nurture Indiana companies and those jobs of tomorrow. With more on Elevate Nexus, I'm pleased to be joined by Elevate uh, Ventures entrepreneur in residence and the executive director of University Initiatives, Jacob Spock. And Jacob, as always, welcome to the program. Thank you, Gary. We'll talk about this uh, this unique program that you have just launched. But first, uh, give us the thumbnail for those who may not know about Elevate Ventures, a venture capital firm. But really, more than that, it's a really a unique animal. That's right. Yeah, we operate as a traditional institutional mm -hmm. investment firm, a venture capital firm. But what makes us unique is that we're a nonprofit organization charged with growing the Indiana ecosystem. Uh, so, so we receive our dollars, our limited partners, come from organizations and, and and government bodies that have a vested interest in seeing us support the state. So all of our investments are in Indiana businesses or those that have a footprint within the state. Well, let's talk about this new initiative. We hear a lot about pitch competitions all the time. This is a lot more than that. This is an interesting, uh, I think, model. Uh, Elevate Nexus, really targeting entrepreneurs, but leveraging the great universities, uh, colleges and universities around the state. That's right. Uh, so, so what we're doing is looking at these universities as the nexus for entrepreneurship in the communities that they serve. I mean, right now we have over a billion dollars in R&D being spent across the state in our higher education institutions. Uh, they have talented researchers uh, discovering and creating new innovations every day, and we have a pipeline of talent that's looking to work for Indiana businesses or launch their own. Mm -hmm. uh, so we see this as, as a great way to enter into relationships with startups and those that are supporting startups, both within the higher education institutions and those communities that they serve. Mm -hmm. How's this going to work? Because I know that phase one, if you will, is really engaging with universities and starting the process. Then universities and entrepreneurs will be in line for, for grants and funding, right? That's right. Yeah, we're starting with a listening tour. We're, we're visiting as many higher education institutions that are interested in participating in this program learning where they currently are in, in their, their development of supporting entrepreneurs. Uh, we're then distilling down best practices to share with these institutions and matching it with grant dollars that we can provide to help them further grow or develop new programming. The other side of the equation is with the entrepreneurs, we're, we're creating programming to directly serve those that have the, the, the bare bone ideas of a mm -hmm. business model and they need to get to the first iteration of a pitch deck. Mm -hmm. And that feeds into, as you mentioned, a pitch competition, which we'll have seven of across wow. the, the the court calendar year. Mm -hmm. and, and as we were talking off camera, the pool of capital is probably among uh, the, the, the best or the biggest uh, in the country, or the world maybe. Yeah, we're, we're very excited to be able to uh, offer this program across the state and, and make sure that it's not just a mm -hmm. one-time event, mm -hmm. but instead it's an opportunity to, to stay engaged and, and capitalize on opportunities as they present themselves. And I think uh, as we wrap up, uh, the, really the, the, uh, the driver uh, of this is the numbers, the statistics that show that I think uh, uh, the types of startup companies are 10 years or younger that really are generating the excitement. That's right, yeah. We're, so, so even at a higher level with Elevate Ventures, uh, it's, it is known that the majority of jobs that are being created over the last two decades were done so by, by organizations, institutions that were mm -hmm. under 10 years of age. So we're looking to just continue to grow that momentum and uh, capitalize on those, those mm -hmm. uh, startups that are going to lead the, the next iteration of our economy. Elevate Nexus, uh, the, uh, the latest uh, innovative idea from Elevate Ventures, Jacob Spock, as always, thanks Thank for being on the show and great to see you again. Thank you. All right.